so proud. You shout it all out with a blitz, blitz, blitz. March it all together. We're going to say you win. So I've just left the ground now, um, another defeat, two points in 24 according to Lewis who I was sat next to. Um, it's not good enough um, and a lot of people are thinking that Marsh will be gone in the morning. Um, but I just don't know with this board, they stuck with Bielsa for a long time and I had a lot of credit in the bank from what he'd done for us in the past but I just don't know whether... Um, Marsh has got that credit. I don't think he is. Obviously, he did manage to keep us up, but um, it's a really, really disappointing result, especially when we started the game quite brightly. When Bamford came on, we did quite well, um, but overall, it's just not good enough. And we've lost again against this run of form where we said we've got to beat Leicester, um, Fulham, or we've got to get at least seven points from Leicester, Fulham and Bournemouth. Now a maximum of three points is available. We've lost against Leicester and Fulham. Teams which we should be beating um, realistically, uh, given where we are in the league and given who our players are and our ambitions mainly. Um, so it's not good enough again. And this time I think... Marsh started Greenwood, which was a questionable decision. Greenwood did okay. He didn't, he didn't do anything that was particularly horrendous, but he didn't do anything that was particularly fantastic either. Um, Somerville did a lot better when he came on and obviously got his goal. Uh, so it's a really difficult one because we scored two goals, which we've been struggling to do, but we conceded three. And the way that we played in defence wasn't good enough. Um, Harrison Reed, I don't know if he was really good today or we were just so bad that he looked that good, um, but he was basically coming out from his role in central midfield and going wide and overlapping the winger uh, in Willian and then later on Nascens Cabano. And 
nobody went with him. Rocker Rocker never went with him. Um, but the players who then did have to go with him were then drawn out of position and left holes in the middle. And we conceded from a corner. Ailing should have done better with that corner against Mitrovic. There's only one place he's going to try and put that, and that's to flick it on backwards. So that was really disappointing as well from from a defensive point of view. The other two goals I'll have to see back. Uh, one of them I know was a, a, an issue where. I think it just bounced all the way through to uh, all the way through past Melier, uh, and so again, it looks like it was mistakes at the back that have killed us today. So it's a bit of a mixture. We didn't seem like we were creating enough, and we definitely didn't seem like we were taking those chances when Bamford was in attacking positions, when Aronson was in attacking positions. I just urge Aronson to shoot that one where he was cutting across the box and cutting across the box. Then he just played it off to Harrison, who hit a really tame shot into the gloves of Leno. Harrison, uh, sorry, Aronson should have just had a hit there um, just be a bit more confident in himself because he's class and I know that he's got that ability and he's got that skill he's taken it past a couple of players and if he just sets himself up and has a shot there's every chance it could go in the back of the net so that was really disappointing for me um, we do seem like we're still trying to walk it in a little bit um, and honestly, I have no ill feelings towards Marsh. If you'd have seen my video yes, uh, the day before yesterday, uh, on Friday, you'd have known that I still was backing him. And I still was saying, right, well, we have to get points from these games. But at the moment, we need to give our manager more time. Um, most people in the ground were thinking that Marsh will be gone. Um, by at the end of today or tomorrow. I'm not 100% convinced of that. I think he may actually stay around for a little bit longer, maybe um, after the Bournemouth game to see if he can get anything out of Liverpool, which is unlikely, and then anything out of the Bournemouth game. So I'm worried for his job. Um, most people want him to go. The other thing that I said was, well, if he does go, who is going to replace him? Who is ready-made going to come in and replace him and has to play sort of an almost a similar system um, in just terms of the actual formation because we've got these two holding midfielders that we've bought. We've got three attacking midfielders that we've got. Um, so you kind of need to... I mean, our attacking midfielders, Harrison can play as a left winger Sinistera can play as a right winger or a left winger um, and then Aronson through the middle so you have got a little bit of um, of leeway in there in that you can play with wingers if you wanted to and a lot of people are calling out for us to have more width calling out for us to have wingers um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in the coming days obviously if anything does happen then I'll have to make a video about that but for now I would like him to get that chance just at just Liverpool and Bournemouth just see if he can get anything because if he could get six points from them two then it looks a lot better than it did but it's very unlikely that Liverpool are going to lose to Nottingham Forest then lose to Leeds as well so for me if Jesse Marsh goes, we have to find a suitable replacement, and that's going to be difficult. Um, but if he stays, then I'm going to back him all the way, just because I never want a man. I, want, I don't want us to have a turnover of managers. I want our managers to succeed when they come in. Um, so that's my summary of it. It's a little bit more about what's actually going to happen. And obviously, you saw all the clips, a couple of goals in there, and celebrations for the first one, and you saw how muted the celebrations were for the second goal. Um, right at the end because we knew we weren't going to get back into it it was in the 91st minute um, but it was nice for Somerville to get his goal I said he needs to do something because he's never shown me that he's capable of doing anything when he came on today I actually thought he was one of our best players um, wriggling him out of tight situations winning free kicks playing little interplay uh, in the attacking third so I thought Somerville was offering us something decent today something that we haven't really had in recent weeks so I enjoyed Somerville today give him credit where credit is due because I have said before that I don't see enough from him um, but We've lost the game 3-2 and that's the main thing today. I'm really, really disappointed about that. Um, everybody else is too, so it remains to be seen what happens. Uh, obviously, I'll do um, another video. I'll be on the midweek fix midweek and I'll also be doing some sort of other video, maybe a tactical preview of the Liverpool game and how I think we're going to get destroyed. Um, but also wait and see if there's anything to do with uh, Marsh. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you next time on Leeds Lately.